they can get hold of it. Um, question number 11, Mike Saban. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. My question is to the Minister for Social Development. How will the Children's Action, action Plan better protect children through greater screening, vetting standards for those... Uh, sorry, I'll start again, Mr Speaker. Why don't I start again? <laughs> how, how will the Children's Action... Order. Why doesn't the member start again? Third, third, time, third time lucky, Mr Speaker. How will the Children's Action, action Plan better protect children through greater screening and vetting standards for those working with children? Honourable Paula Bennett. Speaker. Outstanding, outstanding question. Legislation will be introduced... Legislation will be introduced in the next month to implement minimum screening and vetting standards for those people who are working with children. This process will be more comprehensive than the current police check that some do do and others don't. It will include specific interview techniques, thorough referencing, police record checks as well as looking into the history and behaviour of every one of those individuals. It will also mean checking with former employers and wider community members about any concerns relating to the children that may have been raised during that process. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Mike Saban. Thank you, sir. Who will these new mandatory standards apply to? Uh, Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, this will be mandatory for all government agencies and government-funded organisations working with children, but voluntary for community organisations. There are hundreds of thousands of people in that children's workforce. Uh, we estimate uh, all up it's more than 370,000 people. In the core workforce, we're talking about paediatricians, child youth and family social workers, teachers. The wider workforce would mean non-teaching staff, library reading um, group leaders, for example, or working income case managers. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Mike Saban. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will these new restrictions keep dangerous, violent and abusive people away from children? Mr Speaker, alongside the new screening and vetting, there will also be new restrictions on who they are allowed to employ. For example, there will be restrictions meaning that they cannot employ people who have serious convictions such as murder, manslaughter, sexual violation, assault on a child and sexual conduct, conduct with young people. Uh, we simply have to protect our vulnerable children. For those that choose to ignore that restriction, there will be heavy fat fines. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, will charter schools be compelled or will they just be expected to vet staff under her new vetting and screening requirements? <laughs> Mr Honourable Speaker, Paula Bennett. they will be included in the law and they will be expected to and compelled, if that's the word the member chooses to use. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker, if I could have the Minister perhaps clarify, I asked whether order. or not it was mandatory, uh, uh, compelled, order. Order. And or whether voluntary order. and expectation. Order. She the said question was very clearly addressed for the member. Uh, Further supplementary? Uh, supplementary. Supplementary Mr. question, Mr. Jacinda. Ardern. Will it be mandatory for charter schools to vet and screen their staff? Honourable Paula Bennett. I would say that actually if the member had answered my letter of two months ago where I offered Order. her to actually have a briefing on this, then she'd have the answer. <laughs> but um, since she chose not to actually get involved, um, yes, it will be mandatory. Question. Order. Order. Question number 12. Dennis O'Rourke. 